If you find yourself in a weird situation where you're waiting in a lobby, working at Amazon, you're in the bathroom taking your 30 minute nap, instead of daydreaming, if you need to get your quick game fix, believe it or not, the modern day Apple Watch makes an excellent console. I wouldn't say a gaming console level, but more like an arcade retro gaming system for your wrist. Because aside from being able to receive notifications, make phone calls, monitor your overall health, you could easily pass the time if you find yourself in those boring predicaments with your Apple Watch. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you five amazing games that got released that are actually worth checking out because I actually went ahead and checked them out and made sure they're actually perfect for gaming on your wrists. So here are those five amazing gaming apps to definitely check out. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and start off this video with some ice hockey action. This is Ice Hockey Pro. It's a one-time purchase app. It's just 99 cents, so practically a dollar. The entire concept is extremely easy to understand. It's, it's really just like a classic arcade theme style game. So when launching the gaming app, the UI, it's extremely easy to really get into the game. You use the digital crown to quickly move your character and you try avoiding the wall as well as people. And then once you're at the very end, you make the score. Try not to smack into anybody or completely miss. And then bam, there you go. Quickly progress. There is also this online store. Well, it's not online store, I should say. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a virtual store. No microtransaction or anything is required. It's just a little store that allows you to actually like customize your character's appearance. You can change their like gear they're wearing, as well as the hockey puck. You get the picture. Aside from that, that's basically the whole gameplay. If you crash into the wall, you crash into the wall and just make a score. So this next app is actually one of my personal favorites right now because it reminds me a lot like Agario. Because if you haven't yet played this before, oh my god, this game was super popular back then. The objective is just to eat little things and just get bigger until you could eat those bigger that once was a big thing that now you're bigger that you can actually consume. I might have worded oddly, but you'll get the picture as soon as you see the concept. Fish in a Watch is what the game is called, and it sells for $1.99, so $2 practically. When you launch the app, the way you control your fish is by literally using the digital crown. You literally rock it back and forth to make the fish movement to move forward. So go after a little fish to become a big fish. And you just continue doing that until you can beat your high score. So just keep munching, munching. It has a funny little animation, but as you see, as you saw here, I kind of underestimated myself and that was allegedly a much larger fish so i died in the process and you just keep doing this over and over again stay away from jellyfishes because they kind of paralyze you and just keep munching 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 away and you kind of get the idea why this is a very entertaining game and it does require somewhat uh, like a little bit of skills especially with the digital crown fish movement because you slow down if you don't continue moving if that makes sense so yeah definitely give this game a shot it works extremely well on the apple watch now, if you're looking for a true classic arcade theme style game, not like Worms or anything that we already featured, give Jupiter Attack a try. It's listed on the App Store for $1.99, so practically $2. And it basically follows the theme like Space Invaders in a sense. You're a spaceship, you're shooting missiles, and you're trying to avoid objects as well as their ballistic missiles heading towards you. Or lasers, I don't know what these dogs are. It's a global, it has a global scoreboard, and to my surprise, I'm actually in the 70 somehow. So let's go ahead and try to come close to being top 10 or something. So the scoreboard is not compact, so it's really easy that anybody can actually put their name on the very top if they really try. And uh, you use the digital crown as you're witnessing right here. And the animation's really nice to the most part. And the gameplay itself plays fluidly. Like literally there's n a non-existent load screen whatsoever. So it does get challenging as you see here. I'm actually having a hard time. Not do I'm not sure if it's because of me or the fact that there's like also a camera right in front of my face making things complicated. But there's power-ups here as well, which gives you shield ability or they increase your fire rate as well as your fire ability like you're seeing right here we're doing, literally doing a spray like a shotgun now i know what you might be saying to yourself why am i featuring paid game apps well paid game apps they usually have obviously more quality but there are some free games that i've already covered in the past so if you're interested in to watch that free game list video it's right there in the corner but continuing on next one is rules and the reason why it's called rules 
is for a valid reason which I'll show you in a little bit. This game itself is more like a thinker type of game. If you're into mind powered focus games that's really challenging, this is going to be a one for you. But it's not for me, just saying. So let's go ahead and start a workout. Tap descending. So starting from larger number to the lowest. And just quickly tap on them as soon as possible. So left corner, let's go ahead and tap on the left column. Now we go back to rule one, which was descending number. And I then went to ascending. So starting again, tap descending. So greater to lower number, quickly as possible. Upper right, and I messed that one up. <laughs> so we'll put the go back to descending number again. So tap descending, larger, large number to small number. Tap the top row. So tapping the top row and then go back to rule one, which was descending number. So larger to low number. So tap even cards and uh, and then now we're back in rule two and I forgot what rule two was. So you kind of get the idea. So it goes from the first order. And that first order was rule one. Second order was rule two. And then basically that's the concept of this game. And now you kind of get an understanding why I say it's somewhat complicated because you really have to remember the order that you are playing this game at hopefully you understand what i'm talking about if you get stuck you can always open the main app on your iphone it'll walk you through this tutorial so you understand it a little bit more that's what i had to do to really get the hang of this game but again it's a challenging game it's one of those thinking type of games so it's not my cup of tea but it might be for you now this next one is not a dedicated game but can be perfect whenever you're playing board games that require a dice. So the name of this app is called Roll20 and gives you access to, I think, 20 dices? It's really interesting because if you're missing like certain dice, you can actually customize some of these as well. So here I just tapped, we roll three, we roll four. You can reset the rolls. You can add modifiers. If you like the modified uh, sections of your dice, you could totally do so. So you kind of get the picture Everything is fully customizable, but you're not stuck with just standard dices. If you go back, you can see the entire library that right here that we have here. So if you need an eight section dice, you can totally click on one, keep tapping the roll. I kind of wish it gave like a haptic feedback. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that, but you have 20 dice if you need to, as well as a 100 sided dice. So yeah, I guess it's unlimited, but if you're the developer of the this app, I really wish you allow the app watch to do some type of animation or at least utilize the haptic feedback whenever you do a, a roll. And there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I know the games that we featured in today's video were all one-time purchase, no subscription, which is good, and they don't have annoying ads. But if you're looking for free to download game, again, that video is on the right-hand corner as well as linked in the video description down below. Now, these apps that we're featuring in today's video, of course, are also linked in the video description down below, so they are all literally a click away. So if you manage to find an enjoyable game, you know what to do. I would greatly appreciate if you guys would leave this video a like, as those help me out a lot, and get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. Now, for the playlist of some other apps that we featured in the past, gaming apps, I should say, you can go ahead and check out the playlist right over here. And in the video next to that one, that's just a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.